G'day amigos and welcome to For Diego's Hot Topic number 31. I'm Rodrigo Rodriguez and with me today is Warren Diego and Carlos Alberto Diego. Well, the PFA, the Professional Football Association here in Australia, has decided on their main man and they've chosen an outsider, Carlos. It is former AFL footballer Nick Holland, who's a smart guy, by the way. But should football be recruiting people from other sports to run its game? Well, I would think that you'd go for the best person, wouldn't you? Well, it doesn't matter where they come from. Uh, it's, a, it's a complicated marketplace out there. It's a, it's a marketplace that needs the best minds. And I'm assuming that uh, through the interview process, they want to pick the best person. Knowing Brendan Schwab, who was the former CEO, really from, from day one, almost two decades ago, uh, you'd think that he would demand that the next person would be the best possible person. So I have no problem anyone, uh, from anyone, uh, anyone from any other sport, whether it be cricket or AFL or, or rugby or whatever, the best person needs to be recruited to the sport. I agree with you in general terms, Carlos, but I do get that sort of cultural cringe sense out of this decision that you can't tell me that a football person in the sense of a soccer person from Australia with a law legal background as what Nick Holland has got wouldn't have been as close a good a candidate as what Nick Holland would be. And I would have sense, would have said that the feel for the game and the knowledge of the game would have been the tipping point. I'm not saying that the likes of Ben Buckley and the like have not been good in their roles, but I do get a sense that there's that cultural cringe in terms of saying, well, we have to look outside to get the best people. I would hope that with the evolution of the A-League, for instance, that if there are any past CEOs of A-League clubs, that if they wanted this type of job, they would have been a better candidate than, say, a Nick Collins. Well, you've got to say, the AFL really lead the way with their um, players' union as well, with the AFLPA. And um, Nick holland has been a, a, a player involved in that. He's been on the, on the committee, I'm pretty sure, of the, of the um, AFLPA. And obviously, even Brendan Schwab himself was, uh, is, you know, comes from you know an AFL family. Famous AFL family. Famous AFL. He's got a very, very strong um, soccer background. Oh, as Brendan well. will tell you he was a star footballer in uh, in the juniors and stuff. But uh, Brendan didn't play the game no, no, at a high no. level. And I think that's the point. I mean, you don't need to be the head of the PFA and know tactics or know the offside rule or know uh, anything about coaching or playing. You need to know about collective bargaining agreements. You need to be able to know about players' rights. You need to be able to know about how to build a pathway for careers after football for a lot of the players and I don't believe you need to have any of that. In Ben Buckley's case it would be the only thing I would say at, uh, if you're running the FFA and you're from another sport like John O'Neill or Ben Buckley you need to have the passion to defend the sport like anyone else would if it's, been, if it's under siege. And that's probably one thing that John O'Neill and Ben Buckley might have been criticised for in the past. But Carlos Sports aren't generic like you buy in a supermarket. They're different. They've got different feels and, and different subtleties about them. And I would say that a knowledge of that type of thing is beneficial when the negotiation comes around. An AFL negotiation on a player's behalf, an AFL player's post-football career path will be different than players in... Why? Why, why would it be? It's why? Around, we're in Australia. Well, we're talking about finances first of all, Carlos, because we know that these professional football associations are essentially funded by the overarching bodies that actually run the game. The PFA in, is supported by... The Australian by Australian football, but you're just about, as the AFL is. You're talking about funding there. We're not talking about the, the skills and the qualities. We've got to, to start promoting our own, Carlos, course, and there's got to no, be a point to which course. we do that. In an ideal world, in oh, we're Utopia, in the, in the place where you live, in <laughs> Fantasyland, right? Geez, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, nice to have you, you want players to come out of the system and suddenly become CEOs yeah. of. of, of clubs and, yep. and all that sort of stuff. Of course you want that, but we, we don't have that. Because if we had that, yep. I'm sure that the, a, a footballer or a soccer player would have been running the well, PFA and, in fact, would have been running the FFA. Let's appoint Robbie Deans as the next coach of Australia of the, of the Socceroos then, Carlos. We're not talking well, about, we're not talking I mean, about that, something as special We as are. We are. It's no, just a Rodrigo, special. that's got to be... We're talking about a union. I object, here. Rodrigo. Oh, yeah. I object. That's ridiculous. We're talking about a union. We're not talking about the specialism. Sustained. Yeah, we're not talking about the specialism of coaching or playing. Oh. Of course you need to have All a unions are unless you're, unless The you're plumbers' rich, union is the same as the carpenters. Unless you're Rick Charlesworth, right, you've got to stick to your own game yeah. for coaching and playing. But surely administration of the game, and, and especially administration of the PFA, the only thing that Nick Holland would have to learn about is how to deal with an issue where a player's not being played, uh, paid 
in a place like Romania. Do you think a plumber is in the... charge of the carpenters' union, Carlos? I wouldn't have thought I'll stop so. Stop talking That's to you because you well. just brought this into a ridiculous uh, level. This, this debate, but really, Rodrigo, I'll talk to you. Just talk to me, Carlos. He, he needs to know Can because talk... obviously AFL is an Australia-wide market. Uh, NRL is the same, mm. uh, and also the rugby union, except for the Super 14s. But the, the football marketplace or the football workplace is global. So he needs to be able to deal with issues that might yep. crop up in Cyprus or yep. in Poland or in Turkey. And, and that's something that he'll have to, yeah. you know, yep. it's a steep learning curve yep. for that. Absolutely. And we've got to, we've got to trust the, um, the employment process. Nick Holland, I mean, I've heard him speak on radio many, many times. He's a well-spoken, well-educated bloke. don't know if he's union stock, but um, he can certainly represent the players. But, yeah, there are some anomalies with this game. So congratulations to Nick Holland. You've got a big job on your hands. Um, this has been an interesting hot topic. I've got a <laughs> headache. Until next time. Olé! Olé!